Welcome to another piece of cake. We are in February, which means that we had a January, because that's how it works. Uh, January was supposed to be a shoot, but it got pushed, and that's actually pretty normal. That thing, that kind of thing happens all the time. Um, so I should hopefully have something. Hey, Pepin. I should hopefully have something from a set to show you next month. This month I went to Sundance, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. I will be posting a video next week of Sundance, stuff that I saw, the Women's March, stuff like that. It was really cool. The energy was amazing. Um, it's a, just thousands of creative people who made the things that they wanted to make coming together and showing the things that they wanted to make, and I think that is so awesome. It's really inspiring. I came home and was like, oh, I want to write something, I want to be in this, I want to do it. You're also connecting and reconnecting with people that you've worked with in the past, and just just from going, not even showing anything. Um, I had a friend email me like, hey, can you come help me out with this thing? So like, it's so great, it's a jump start, and it's a great way to start the year, I guess, like jumping forward into stuff. And then I also had the first audition of the year after I got back from Sundance, which, <sighs> last year was super slow, January has been super slow, so it was sort of a like, yay, all right, here we go, um, kind of feeling to start off pilot season. And pilot season, for those of you guys that don't know, is when all of the networks start making pilots or the first episodes of stuff that they might think they want. My cat's bored. <laughs> Stuff they think they might want to see on their fall schedules next year. I have lots of scripts to read, I have lots of things to look at to prepare for pilot season so, so that if I do go out, like I already know the story, I know what's coming up, you can start to see trends. Like last year, there were like, and I think, I think they're still on, there were a bunch of time travel pilots for some reason, that was the big thing. So you get to see what's gonna kind of be the next big thing. Now it's time for some questions from you. The first one is from JR. Uh, what projects, trips, or ideas do you have for 2017? So trips, sun dance, I guess. Um, it was a spontaneous trip. I didn't know I was gonna go on it, and then I did. I don't really have anything else planned. I would love to shoot something out of LA. Projects or ideas, I don't wanna, I can't tell you, sorry. Um, I've started working a little bit on something. Some of my patrons saw a tweet that I posted. We'll see if that goes or not. I think I've kind of come to terms with I will have to run a crowdfunder again. Yay. Brie asks, what does your ideal career look like? Focusing on acting, focusing on writing, or a combo? And would you want to stay in the indie sphere if it spontaneously became financially possible? Or would you work want to work with larger companies and networks. Uh, all right, so what does my ideal career look like? Successful. I don't know, I don't, I, I think that's part of being, ugh, barf, an artist, or that's part of being the kind of, th that's part of the job that we are in. You're never really happy with where you are. There's always something more, because when you're creative, you always have another story somewhere in there. It's not like, you complete a task and you're done, there's like, okay, now what? I would love, I, I, you know, I like, I like writing, I like acting, I like being in charge. So, so, I would do both. I think in a perfect world I would be doing both, or at least contributing creatively uh, towards both, even if I'm not the sole writer on a project. And then, would I stay in the indie sphere? I love, yes, I mean, but I wouldn't, say no to like big network or big studio or whatever. And the, the system's changed though. Netflix and Amazon and Hulu and YouTube and all of these companies and HBO, TV, like they're making and buying movies and scripts and um, TV shows and stuff like that. And I think that's where things are going and that's who I'd want to work with. So it's not big studios like 
whoever owns Marvel, sorry. Like, it's not like Warner Brothers or Paramount so much as HBO and Showtime and these kinds of companies. That's the kind of stuff I want to do. I want to work with that um, because I am a creator and I like being creative. I don't like people saying to some extent, like, no, that's not our message. It's not our brand or whatever. Um, our advertisers won't like that, you know, that kind of thing. Like, okay. <laughs> um, just constantly working, whatever that means. Alright, and then for a little bit of stuff I love this month, uh, the first thing that I want to tell you guys about is, this is so silly, but it's honest and true. I get this subscription shampoo and conditioner. My hair is so soft. It's called Function of Beauty. I'll put a link below. If you click the link, I get $5 and you get $5 off. So that's the deal with that. But truly, and it smells so good. You get to pick what color your shampoo is. You get to pick what it does. So I've got mine as um, like moisturizing. It, you pick five things. I and then the second thing that I wanted to tell you guys about, again, Spotify, I will link below, Bear's Den. If you guys haven't listened to this band, listen to them. Listen to a song at least two or three times because that's when the nuance starts to sink in. I got to see them in concert this in January. It was fantastic. I'm not I cried. I laughed. I cried more. I cried everything. <laughs> like, if it's kind of... It, anything. It's a joke. Like, it, commercials. I'll cry. I'm a big sap. They're emotional. They're, they're, they make you think. So I highly recommend Bear's Den. Bear's Den. Let me know which song you like. That is it for February update. It's really a January recap. Um, let me know how your month was and what's going on with you. Okay, bye. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to join me on Patreon and help contribute to make more videos like this and more scripted stuff, please visit patreon.com slash katehackett.